The Vice Chief of Naval Operations spoke at the Senate Armed Services Committee February 12th and discussed the potential sequestration. Simply stated, the combined effect of a year-long continuing resolution and sequestration will reduce our Navy's overseas presence and adversely impact the material readiness and proficiency of our force, thus limiting the President's options in time of crisis. Of equal concern, we will irre irreversibly damage the industrial base that we depend upon to build and maintain our ships and aircraft. Under these circumstances, we assess your Navy will be limited in its ability to provide the capability and capacity called for in the current defense strategy. Over $5 billion in planned FY13 investments are affected. For example, we will be compelled to delay the start of construction of John F. Kennedy, CVN 79, the completion of America, LHA 6, as well as cancel procurement of an Arleigh Burke class destroyer and hundreds of weapons. Without congressional authority, the carrier Abraham Lincoln must remain moored at Naval Station Norfolk rather than start her overhaul. And we will not be able to complete the current overhaul of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. We will immediately erode the readiness of the force. Over the long term, the discretionary budget caps under sequestration will fundamentally change our Navy. We will be compelled to reduce our force structure, our end strength, and investments as we lower funding levels and the altered landscape of our industrial base. We must be mindful of the corrosive effect of this uncertainty on the morale of our people and be vigilant regarding the potential effects of sequestration on the propensity of our force to stay with us and of new recruits to join.